Today I'm gonna tell you a story of creating my ladybug cosplay from Miraculous Ladybug. I bought this costume actually almost a year ago and it was waiting in the wings when my hands will reach it. And I was inspired by Miraculous last season, so I started with Vic. First of all, I did a zigzag potting. I used comb, hairspray, hair dryer with cold air function and tutorials from YouTube. Then I teased marinette bangs. It should be pretty high and thick. I didn't even trim it any hair on it. It went out perfectly with thickness and laid. Then with the same teasing technique, I started to tease marinette iconic pigtails. To be honest, it's really hard to tease tails with elastics because it creates some loose hair near the potting. But I kind of managed to make it smooth with hairspray and cold air lately. I didn't want to trim pigtails too cause I hate cut wigs. <laughs> but I realized that everything ended up way too long and volumetric when I tried this wig on. I looked more like adult marinette, which is actually a good idea for cosplay though. So I ended up restyling the wig. I brushed it off some extra volume and trim it pigtails a little bit with sliding technique. It's so important to try on wigs when you're working on it. It helps so much to make it suit you better. Since we all have different hair and face shapes, it is okay to style hair specifically for yourself, not for a mannequin hat. For so-called elastics, I use thin red EVA foam. Just glue tiny pieces of velcro on it so I can take it on and off. And I glued velcro on antenna thingy as well, but then I realized that it will be more comfortable to just glue it and make it like two pairs of elastics with and without antennas. And after I tried on this week's second time for my ladybug video, what it on my channel though, I realized that my pigtails way too white. So I restyled everything again. The second really very time-consuming thing was the yo-yo. And it because I decided to make it out of paper mache. Yay! Another episode of Sarah making everything out of paper mache. But I love this technique so much. It is so easy and cheap and you can make literally anything out of this. Yeah. For the base, as you can see, I used a house of a soap bunny. Mm -hmm. I put wet wipe on it so it matched its shape, then two layers of paper mache. Each two layers I sanded everything for extra smooth, I did a couple more layers on top of it and two layers inside of it for extra thickness. I used colored thin paper for last layer of one spear so I could see how it will look at the end better. I really like this technique, I will definitely use it later. Then the final cutting and sanding for perfect smooth shape. And I just glued spheres with super glue and thin cardboard stripes to a flat cardboard. I cut it carefully when it dried and it turned out so good, I was very happy. Then I covered it with acrylic glue for extra smoothness and thickness and sanded it again. I actually hate sanding so much, you can't even imagine. Last step, painting! Finally! I painted everything with white acrylic primer and then with acrylic paints. And also I bought some round black elastic for my yo-yo so I can wear it on my waist. Actually, look at all those ladybug dolls in our local toy store! So cute! I want them! Ta-da! Final look! Ignore those inaccurate black dots. <laughs> I painted it literally in last two minutes before photo shoot. You could do it carefully, I believe in you. So yeah, this is final look. The mask I got with the costume, it's very cool printed, but it was way too thick and I didn't like it in shape. So I just stripped it off and cut eyes bigger with thinner middle part. And it turned out so soft. I think you could even glue it to your face with eyelash glue, for example. But I decided to sew elastic on it. Just did it a little bit longer than it was, so mask won't lose its shape. The costume itself is pretty thin, so that people won't see my everything. I wore extra costume underneath. I call it 
total black look. <laughs> it's just extra sleek non, sport bra, thick tights, and underneath shorts, which I wear with skirts, so I won't face. With this protection, nobody will see anything special. This costume still needed some touches, it didn't suit it well my hands, shoulders, tights, and between legs, so I just sewed it a little bit on my sewing machine. It's not the right way to sew flexible fabric on regular sewing machine, but you still can do it. Just use special straight or super straight needles for it. I just pinned everything that I needed and carefully sewed it closely to already existed seams. And now everything fitted much better. And I actually forgot about earrings. <laughs> I just bought it a long time ago on the AliExpress, yeah, nothing extra. And they look amazing. Звук или дебак?